hello everyone and welcome back to my channel thus far i have shown you how i made this nice fixture i put on the light bulb outside i've also shown you how i made this nice arch i love it so much i showed you how i made my lollipops and i also show you how i made that gingerbread border outside of my house in today's video i am going to show you how i made a 10 feet tall christmas tree out of pvc i went to home depot and i found this awesome guy i told him my idea in my head and he walked me through the process he told me what i needed he cut all this pvc for me and all together i think i spent i can't remember too well like maybe less than 30 dollars I wanted to be able to weave lights up and down this Christmas tree and I wanted to be able to just be something simple, nothing complicated so that I could just hang it and plug it in. I also didn't want this to be a permanent fixture so I needed to be removable, I didn't want to glue anything on. Because I didn't want to have it permanent. I had to take it down at the end of the holidays. Now the next challenge was bringing this thing home and fitting this whole thing in my car. It, it really bothered me for a little bit. But I was able to fit it all <laughs> in my car. Then I used the same electrical tape that I used for the front arch. And I weaved it and I made it look the same. Now, these are the pieces that were left over, and I'm going to show you all of the elements that I used. Um, again, the guy guided me through the process. Don't ask me for the names. I have no idea what these are. I just knew that I wanted to make legs because I wanted this to be off the ground. And these cross like fixtures allowed me to put the screws on. Now, this cap is what I use on top of my tree. The screws were two inches tall because I just wanted, like I said, I wanted to be able to weave these lights from the top to the bottom, back to the top, and so on and so forth. Now, I only use a drill and I use my electrical tape. Those are the only things that I use to make this thing. Um, I had to make holes in the cap because the cap was pretty thick and then I, I was able to screw them on. Now this little PVC is very flexible, it has a different name, can't remember, but I wanted to make it so that there was like a round bottom to it. I put some metal in between and I taped it and this was going to be my Christmas tree. So I started drilling things, I marked um, the pieces, I screwed, but I made a mistake. Um, and I put the screws in the inside. If I had to do it over, I would have put them in the outside. I screwed the holes in, like I mentioned, and then I put the screws on. I wanted to be able to stand them up and I, I, I wanted to move as well because I, I wasn't sure how this thing was going to work out. It looked pretty okay. I was able to stand it up. Like I said, I would have preferred to put the screws on the outside i do some markings on the flexible pvc and i was like oh my god so i didn't want to have to undo what i did so i left them the way that they were it worked out i was able to string lights up and down it looked a little funky on top because again i had to fit this in the cap but i was able to fit them in i was able to move things i marked where i wanted these legs to be and again, I would have put the screws in the outside if I could do it again. Maybe next year I'll do it over again with the screws in the outside. So this is my tree. This is what I did. It looked really pretty at night. I will do some things differently next year. Like I want to stream lights all around the house. And I want to be able to connect fixtures like on the wall to light it up. But then again, this is a project for next year. I wasn't able to do it this year. I'm gonna show you how it looked at night. This is the look. I streamed it and it looked beautiful and I love it. So this completes this project for today. 
thank you so much for watching please come back tomorrow and i'm gonna show you my next picture for tomorrow ta-ta